U.S. temps are dropping across southern Arizona. It may be time to start thinking about how to protect your plants during freezing nights. Nine on your side's Megan Meyer joins us live from a nursery on the east side after speaking with some experts. Megan. Pat Heidi, Harlow Gardens here on the east side has been around for many, many Arizona winters. They've been in business for 80 years and showed me how you can save your plants from the cold before it's too late. This morning when I was down along the riverbed and there was frost on the grass. Snowbird Cindy Lucas knew she wouldn't completely escape the cold by moving to Arizona for the winter. So I knew it could get cold. In fact, I brought way too many warm clothes down. And soon her plants will need protection from the cold too. Something Harlow Gardens is helping people prepare for. This is the time of the year when you really need to start watching those nighttime temperatures. Gardening expert Debbie Mount says plants like these small citrus trees are particularly vulnerable to colder temps. On top of keeping your plants well hydrated, covering them can be a lifesaver. So you put stakes in the ground, three or four, or in the pot, whatever you're doing, and lift that cloth above it, giving it um, a little bit of an air space so it doesn't freeze to it. According to Mounts, the best material to use is called frost cloth. If you're using frost cloth, the good thing about it is you can leave it on for four or five days because it still allows light to come through. If you're using something heavier like a blanket or something, you want to take that off every day because it could damage the plant. But if you forget to cover your plants on a cold night, don't panic. If this gets frozen, don't cut it off. This frozen dried up tip will provide some protection to the foliage that is still on the tree below that section. So just leave it until spring. Then you can cut it back and let it come back and be beautiful. Now, if you're on the hunt for frost cloth to cover your plants, they do sell it by the foot here at Harlow's Garden and many other nurseries around town. Live from the east side, Megan Meyer, Kega 9 on your side.